Using the TI-30XA to perform basic operations is pretty much the same as for any other calculator. We'll look at the basic operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We'll also learn how to use parentheses in calculations. We'll start with a binary operation of addition. Binary operations take two numbers and combine them into a result. You request the result by pressing the equals button, which is at the lower right here. To add two numbers, enter the first number, then press the plus, also called the addition button, which is here in the right column, then press the second number, followed by the equal sign. Don't forget that if you are entering a negative number, you must enter the number's digits and then press the sign change button. For example, to add 2 and negative 3, press 2, press plus, enter 3, press sign change, and finally press equals. The answer, negative 1, should appear on the screen. The other binary operations, subtraction or minus, multiplication or times, and division or divide by, are used in the same way, pressing the appropriate binary operation instead of the addition button, of course. If you have more than two numbers to combine using addition, for example, the general rule is to enter the calculation from left to right, and you can enter it pretty much as it is written. When you press the addition button the second time, the intermediate result, the addition of the first two numbers, is shown on the screen. The final result is obtained when you press equals at the end of the calculation. Multiplication works this way too. Let's say you want to multiply 2 times 3 times 4. You would enter 2, press times, enter 3, and press times again. At this point, the intermediate result of 2 times 3, which is 6, shows on the screen. Continuing, you would enter 4, and finally the equal sign. The result, 24, appears on the screen. Sometimes the combination of three or more numbers needs to be operated on in a different order than left to right. Parentheses are used to indicate which operation should be performed first. You can enter problems with parentheses in pretty much the order that is presented in the problem. For instance, to calculate 6 divided by the quantity 3 minus 1, you enter 6, then divide by, then left parenthesis. At this point, the calculator enters a subcalculation mode, which is indicated at the top of the screen with a tiny set of parentheses. Continuing the calculation, press 3, enter minus, press 1, and then right parenthesis. At this point, the subcalculation is done, and the intermediate result, 2, is shown on the screen. To finish the calculation, press equals, and the final result, 3, shows on the screen. This calculator allows nested parentheses, meaning that a subcalculation within a subcalculation is allowed. Finally, there is a shortcut for doing the fairly common operation of dividing 1 by a number, otherwise known as finding the reciprocal of the number. I'll call this key 1 over. The 1 over operation is a unary operation, which means the number is entered first, and then the operation button is pressed next. The result appears immediately on the screen without having to press the equal sign. Let's say I want to find 1 divided by 4, or the reciprocal of 4. Press 4, then press the 1 over button. The answer 0 0.25 appears on the screen at once. We will be using these basic operation skills within many of the other tutorials to follow, so make sure you are comfortable using them.